Good afternoon, NAVIC 2018. Welcome to the Facultad de Ciencias de la Computación of Benemérita Universidad Autónoma de Puebla. This presentation for the paper, a methodology location allocation problem by the Dr. Maria Beatriz Bernabe Loranca is exposed by the computer science degree student Noe Muñoz Pérez. This presentation is organized as follows. Content. 1. Abstract. 2. Introduction. 3. Methodology. 4. Case study. 5. Results. 6. Conclusions. and 7. References. Territory design problems frequently involve locating facilities and allocating customers to these facilities. This problem is known as the location allocation problem. To use location allocation models is very useful for designing the supply chain of a company. Abstract. This work analyzes a model for location allocation problem for a territorial design problem, where the demand is a continuous density function and a statistical methodology. The proposed model minimizes the total cost of transport with Euclidean distance. Several density functions are considered to represent different scenarios and computational experience is also provided. Introduction the land unit that will be used in this work is a basic geostatistical area, BGSA. A cluster is constituted by a set of BGSA. A partition of a territory is composed by clusters according to the characteristics of territorial design problem such as compactness, connectedness or contiguity. This is a representation of a partition of a territory with five clusters. The partition problem is NP-hard. I show one of the cluster that is obtained by the application of, of meta-heuristic. The insight of this work is to find the location of a distribution center which provides services to a group of communities located in each basic geostatistical area and represented by each centroid. The partition of the territory was obtained through a partition algorithm. The partitioning problem belongs to the NP-complete class. The metaheuristic variable neighborhood search, BNS, was applied as an approximation procedure for the partitioning of the territory. With the generated results, a map using an interface with a geographic information system, GIS, Methodology. Step 1. Defining the parameters of the partition by territory. Step 2. Generate the partition with the meta-heuristic variable neighborhood search. Step 3. Attach the selected cluster into the density demand functions. Step 4. Generate the, an interface through geographic information systems. Step 5. To calculate the centroid of each basic geostatistical area, we use the following equations of calculus. Step 6. To apply the model 1 to the selected cluster, we use the following equation. For this presentation, we will expose the step 2. In the slides 10 and 11, we can see the steps for experiment design methodology. In the case study, the application of this methodology used data from the metropolitan zone of Toluca Valley. Results We obtained the following density demand functions after realizing the experiment. In this slide, we can see the cost and coordinates of center centroids. Conclusions the methodology was tested in regions demanding irregular shapes. In comparison to previous works, where the regions are rectangular or convex polygons. Since territorial design problem is a combinational optimization problem, the use of metaheuristics on territorial designs allows its implementation in larger areas with higher cardinality partitions. According to the analysis of the results, the including of aspects territorial design with use of continuous demand functions in location allocation models
provides a wide range of possibilities of application to real problems in the supply chain, geographical and others. The integration of tools such as meta heuristic, geographic information systems, and mathematical models provides a robust methodology for the creation of methodologies in visual environments such as maps.